Hello everybody, welcome to another game of NAF Ladder. This was rather good, I just started spinning and got a game instantly. Uh, obviously Dub Skulls was looking for a game. So we've got Semi-Pro Elf Union. I had a I had a team called Semi-Pro on uh, Fumble, I remember. I had a Pro Elf team called Semi-Pro. I was really uh, I was really proud of that one. And he's got a few more, a few less dodge than I would have thought, I think. So he's got a wrestler. What's this? Is this strip or show hands? That's strip. I mean, I just think probably just another dodge right would have been better. Um, leader. And a sneaky git. Sneaky git's completely understandable. And yeah, he's got the reserve throw. Yeah, this is this is about what I made for the roster, I think. I uh, know he's only got... Wait, he's got four catches? How does he get four catches and three rerolls on an apple? Oh, he's got 12 players. I think I had 13 players in mine. I don't know, this is weird. I'm sure I only had three catches. But anyway, he's got four catches. Which is good. And, uh... So with this one I changed it to go with, rather than using the extra money to get a reserve, which is obviously really nice to have with a reserve. I thought, um... Let's go with... You know, skilling both ghouls. Yep. Right, it's a bit against a blitz. I mean, I guess I could do this. If he blitzes this guy, then it's still three two. So this is probably best, isn't it, against a blitz? It's not in a bonehead one. I will do my own setup guides. Don't worry. I mean, I've already got the defensive setup guides right, but I meant to do an offensive setup guides. We were going to do it. We actually started filming it, which is why one of the uh, one of the uh, outtakes is actually uh, like you know on the uh, on the offensive setup guide, but um, didn't end up. Doing it properly. Here is art, which is why the Bonehead podcast was just mentioned. <laughs> Hello, art. <laughs> but um, you know, look, I'm a good boy now. I'm not going to say anything bad about anybody. Honestly, I was thinking about. Uh, I was thinking about really stupid. Yeah, really stupid's pretty good, isn't it? Look at that block before the safe move. Very good idea. Last thing you want to do is do a safe move before you can make a block. I'm not even gonna blitz with the wolves here. Just to really upset art. Um, yes, welcome readers. Hello, everybody! Oh. Animal Savagery Studio. Good. I don't think it matters where I go, right? It's pretty hard to run. I guess he could run all the way through the back here, so. It's very unlikely, isn't it? Yeah, it tanks out. Massive raid. Tried to snipe me, but you got dark hills. Good, there's a few games going on, isn't there? Straight away, how old punter? How old JD one of you? Or flip the cat. <laughs> yeah, go on, had to flip me. Chrissy B, how old? Randy, how old? 
Animal Savagery. Yeah, I thought about Animal Savagery as well. Thought about the two Immies. <laughs> Come back for more ass. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, maybe I should have split out the wolf in case he was in case he exposed himself to a surf randomly. I didn't consider the possibility of that. But yeah, foul appearance pretty great. Foul appearance is pretty great. T B H. It's annoying, isn't it? This goes just one square short. Or he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eighth square hitting him, which would then chain him into him. So then, if he, if he, if this is only a push, I'd get an extra block. <laughs> That's a lot of setup to get an extra block, but it would have been possible after just not blocking off the OS. And this is okay just to do that that punch there. I really want to get the fleshies forward, don't I? Let's get the cage here. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Get back to the middle. Is this NAF? Is this NAV? It is! Ah, oh, Grim, yes, thank you very much. Staying fantastic. This is indeed... NAV. Nah, that makes these a little bit harder, doesn't it, while getting the... Uh... Getting it done a little bit. This is good, isn't it? Going for the leader here. Amazing. Oh, do I really want to stick him on the fleshy? Not really, right? It'll just 2D me and cast me. I've seen Sea Brawls play. This is a catcher. Oh, this is a stripper. Oh, I just hit the stripper. The fitting strippers. Brilliant. Could have greed re-rolled there, yeah, could have actually greed re-rolled. To be fair, with four, I didn't realise I'd got the re-roll off the kickoff. It wouldn't have been a terrible greed re-roll, I guess, in all honesty. Staying fantastic for six glorious months, one and a half beer pregnancies, oh yeah. Oh wow. What for, Hargrim? Yeah, and at the event or outside. Being <laughs> too drunk in public. <laughs> I nearly had that. I made I made the the forty k people write a whole new like code of conduct for to stop people uh, acting outrageously while the tournament was on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, because I got so drunk. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That is a true. That is a true thing that happened in. A, that is a true thing that happened in in the forty k tournament scene. It literally brought out like a rule because of me being uh, so drunk. To be fair, some it shouldn't have been because of me. Some dude was trying to start a fight with me because I was calling him a cheater all day. <laughs> but he cheated, <laughs> so I called him a cheater. <laughs> Which I think is completely reasonable, but... That seems to be the reaction of cheaters worldwide. Is is that they're indignant when they're when they're found out of cheating, which is really weird, isn't it? They must they must think cheating is morally good somehow, and and they do have the moral high ground for some reason. But you know, cheating isn't good, and they don't. 
It is in England, Seabrooks. It is in England, believe me, England is like the... England is the uh, binge drinking capital of the world, isn't it? So, that's very, very strange <laughs> to, get, uh, to get arrested for it in England, that's for sure. Yeah, it really does seem that way, Chicken Chaser. Like the, you know, the the French lads. I don't know why LLB or LLBB or whatever, LFBB is it? What, whatever, whatever, whatever that group they were from. Those lot, they acted, you know, exactly the same as the UC. It's crazy. And this guy, <laughs> this guy in in the uh, in the forty k wanted to have a fight with me. <laughs> I could not have had a fight with him, by the way. I was absolutely plastered. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was absolutely wrecked. I was like, oh god, I hope he doesn't punch me. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully my friends can uh, can do something because I could barely stand. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Pablo's. That's that's it's absolutely incorrect. Hey, yeah. It's annoying, isn't it? I can't blitz that one with a wolf because uh, uh can I? I could put this guy in. Yeah, but then I've got a guy in the back, which really sucks. So he's got to go in the back. That's guaranteed down. Now this guy, I could put a player in here. And then he, he could go to here. So it's going to be a 2 and or 1. Or I could just like 3D him away. I could put like an assist in here, couldn't I? And then it's a 2. And then he goes there into a one, guaranteed. That seems not as good as just two D in you. Here, can't I? Next to wrestler. Oh, I didn't think of him just going there and stopping me moving. I might be stupid. Nobody knows. Do I just go back? I think I just go back and then I put the fleshies furthest forward. If I go with this, then I've got, I've still got like my team in a blob. That seems acceptable. I mean, England. I'm not the king of drinking, man. It's nothing to be proud of, but England definitely has the most fucking uh, binge drinking, doesn't it? That's that's just a fact. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's nothing to be proud of. It's nothing to be proud of that England is the uh, is the capital of binge drinking. But when it comes to binge drinking, England is always being number one. Right? <laughs> exactly, J Five. It's not a brag. It's not a brag. It just it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. It's not. It's like it's all like also England's really good at uh, obesity, isn't it? 
England is the uh, England is the European uh, European <laughs> European uh, obese people. So there you go. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, it's, I guess it's the worst rather than the best, isn't it? There you go. The worst rather than the best. <laughs> Of Romania in England. There we go, I've Googled here. Oh, women in Denmark were the worst. But Ramon, Romania and UK. I guess it's just counting UK, so maybe it is in England. Maybe I'm just saying England because I'm English, right? Maybe it's just UK, yeah. Yeah, because there's, you know, there's old Cardiff and that, isn't there? And yeah, jocks. Mad jocks. Yeah, the European America, yeah. No, that's true, yeah, yeah. English obesity obviously is not as uh, not as powerful as American obesity. Oh, just everything, Festa. Just everything. Art went into it a little bit, like, you know, a lot of their setup guides are nonsense and, you know, it's like how he just waffles and waffles and waffles and doesn't, you know, say anything good or relevant. Oh, wow. 65%? That's overweight, though, right? Not, not obese. Not obese. Wow, UK is only 55. Well, <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a shameful display from the UK. <laughs> Absolutely shameful display. 57% of adults in Wales are obese. That's ludicrous, isn't it? Oh, he's just giving me the space for free. It's a that I can't get to this one, isn't it? Last again. We should we should have never had Brexit. Now we now we're not even as fat as these people. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, binge means like you know like loads in one go, right? So while you know like the French and that have loads of like wine drinking, don't they? Like like the the French like. Like, you know, there's other cultures have, like, more, like, kind of social drinking and stuff and that, like, where it's, like, more acceptable for, like, kids to drink wine and stuff, isn't it, in, in France, for example. I know that's a big thing in France, but in England, it's all about people going out and drinking, like, you know, 20, uh, 20 pints or whatever. Yeah, overweight isn't is not is not much, but yeah, ob obese means obese is bad. I follow back and brilliant. I mean, this is going brilliantly now. You know, what can I say? I'm just going to dodge away. If I re-roll, I've got four. And then come back. So that bit was okay. This block wasn't. Yeah, because it's sidestep. Didn't really think of that. Should have just dodged him off as well. But yeah, it's good getting forward, isn't it? Proils can cause you problems. So. The biggest mingy for Swiftman. Yeah. 
It's come for the blood boss, Dave. The interesting statistics. There you go. He's got a million blocks on this ghoul, doesn't he? Andy can Andy can sneak and get foul in. But the thing is, I've got another ghoul anyway. Oh my god, he's really got a million dice. And second of all, if I'm one nil up, at least I can't lose, can I? So. Boo, Dice Lord. Can't believe he powered me. Oh, dead. Well, down to 11 players. There you go. Uh, down to 10 players. Brilliant. Should have had a reserve. I should have just dodged him. It was just really bad. Just careless. Careless rubbish play. Uh, no to me, no. Like, have, you, have you posted pics of it? Beautiful. Green and gold and yellow and black. Fwa. Like the I like the <laughs> the purple and red hair. Is that just so you can spot them easily? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the strong men in that, like they're still like it's still terrible for their health, isn't it? Even though it's uh, you know, even though they're like they're not just fat, like bodybuilders and that. Then even though they're not just fat, it's still terrible for your body to like be under the extra stress. Could go here and then one into one and that, but I just don't want my uh, wolves to get killed mostly. I could go there and 2D him, couldn't I? Oh my god. Both down him. KO myself, perfect. I'll KO him though, so that's alright. Oh, you uphold it? Wow. What's wrong with green and yellow? Did you uh, did you talk to uh, Elliot and Chigan, Timmy, and watch their games? <laughs> watch their entire BPT runs. What a dirtbag. Yeah, store. Store. Store, Chigat and Elliot. Uh, blue and yellow, isn't it? Sweden. Sverige. Store. DK's run away, right, isn't it? DK Donkey Kong. The only thing I know about like flags is from football. <laughs> guard is uh can't go wrong with guard, yeah. You know? They don't die, they get picked. 
Pig, 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 pig. I don't like that he's just beating me up here, by the way. He tricked me into running forward so he could beat me up. <laughs> yeah, it's not real, hey, is it? Come on. Come on. Just friendly rivalry, isn't it? If you're stupid enough to hate somebody for where they're from, then, well. <laughs> England versus Scotland. Yeah, England versus Scotland, one-sided, isn't it? And even then, like, who knows how much they dislike us at all, anyway. It is weird, isn't it? Yes, I'm obviously going to punch them. Once. Pals him and pals him, he can come in for a one day, but am I bothered? I ain't bothered. Pal him, easy. By the way, everybody, new season of Super League starting on Friday. Hopefully, there's three more people to reply. Got nine out of 12 already. That's pretty good, isn't it? Instantly. Instantly got nine out of 12. We've got Art returning and Bright making his debut after winning the... Uh, Champions Cup. Pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe Kalon. Double check. Um, so he's powered me. If he puts me right, if he puts me there, no, I want to keep him off the ball, don't I? Stand for. I want to keep the side of off the ball. I can sponsor it, yeah, J5. If somebody else wants to do the work for the shit league, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. One regular, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dimmy G. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> I hope Timmy gets loads of loads of messages from Kalon haters. <laughs> Not that Kalon would have any, but you know. <laughs> it's just constant. <laughs> Oh, he dodges in for the uphill. Skull, please. Still a skull. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've blocked my path. Classic. Well done, shitter Jim. Trying to do safe moves first. What do I get? Absolute idiocy. Injured though, good. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, I've got a, I've got a guy here. Look, I didn't even see him. Easiest rolls of my life. <laughs> yeah, the boom, yeah. <laughs> Dodging uphill, I don't think so. He had no skills, right? So it's like, at least if you've done it with Wrestle. You'd have actually popped it with wrestle as well. I think not. Not the uphill without wrestle was bad. Better to like uphill a fleshy right and get a one d. <laughs> What's your opinion on kick, Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, stand firm. <laughs> What's your opinion on kick is is honestly a great it's a great new meme. Yeah, Vamps are one of the few ones that can have it, right? Vamps and Skaven are the big two. Because the linemen are rubbish. Everybody else, the linemen are pretty decent, so you don't really want kick. Or you can't take advantage of it anyway. Like, you know, orcs or dwarves or anything. No, I don't think Timmy would take a kick on the source, no. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, he's gonna get a big foul on this fleshy, isn't he? Maybe I should try to target the sneaky kit more. Diced. 
It's a big old foul, and he might get sent off. No. Didn't even die. Do I blitz the sneaky good? I mean, I could hit a catcher. I don't know which is better. A dodge catcher. Ooh, or I could uh, blitz a blitzer. Right, because then he said, well, no matter where he sidesteps to, it's a. Uh... In fact, if I didn't thought that first, I could have three diced this blitzer. Shit. Um. So that way. Right, I can just go there, and then I'll hit him from here, and then he'll sidestep back. I'll hit him from there, and he'll sidestep there, and I'll have two assists, and he'll have one, right? Block him there. He sidesteps to here. He's got a defensive assist. I've got two offensive assists. Or, I blitz him into the fleshy twice. Or, I blitz him, so I just don't know who to hit. Sneaky Kid's got the most chance of hurting. Then him, he's fast, he's got dodge, he's a good player. Sub bludge step is super annoying. I think I'm gonna go for him. knocked over the sneaky kid. It's just so hard to hit these guys, isn't it, is the problem. So it was a rare opportunity to even hit this guy. But yeah, I guess I would have knocked over the... Uh, would have knocked over the sneaky gear. It's not a dance, I'm just going in the middle, okay. got to go in the middle. I mean, come on. Come on. You've got to be able to go in the middle. Elliot told me not to. Do mean no, it wasn't it wasn't just Elliot. I thought it's uh people will think I'm being a dirtbag even though it's obviously I'm obviously not. And I think it's stupid to think somebody's being a dirtbag. But. Wow, Dimmy. <laughs> yeah, I am always tired, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, not, I'm not miserable, Dimmy, no, I'm just tired. I am just tired. I'm actually not miserable at all. That one person somewhere might be really offended, yeah. Yeah, I'm just tired. I'm not. I'm actually not miserable at all today. I'm quite happy. Quite happy, in fact. Oh no, he gets to stab me. 
Like obviously the ghoul death isn't isn't setting my world on fire. But um it's not the end of the world, is it? The wire. I've never seen the wire. Never ever. Never seen the wire. Yeah, everyone tells me that it's amazing as well. Guess I should have gone to here, right? Brill. Or maybe I should have gone here to stop the assist on the foul, because he has he has been knocked over, so yeah. I wasn't really paying any attention to the game, I'll be honest, I was just looking at chat. <laughs> Being English, I have to do a bad English accent because he's playing American. That's bad. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, shut up! Yeah, there you go. You don't need to teach him sea brawls. You don't need to teach him. I should not have defended against the one turn. This is why I never defend against the one turn, even with Necromantic, by the way. But, um, it's because this guy was KO, wasn't it? Because I didn't have the players. If I'd had the reserve, funny enough, I would have put three zombies on the LOS. Because I didn't have the reserve, didn't have three zombies to put on the LOS. So I thought, oh well, might as well pretend I care about one turns. Hello? I've got nine players, which isn't good, is it? Will he go for the win? Maybe. He's still got 11. Yeah, no, don't spare it, because I might watch it sometimes. Like, loads of people have told me it's really good. Too many for it to not be. <laughs> it's interesting. I'll tell you what's super interesting. I thought Breaking Bad was good. But, um... But it was weird, because... They had, like, a main character that was... you couldn't root for. <laughs> Which is weird, isn't it? It's weird to just have, like... the main character is just... unlikable. <laughs> An unlikable main character is definitely a choice. So it was pretty weird, the old... Uh... Breaking Bad, but you know, I thought it was good and everything.
Uh, I, I did sense like, yeah, the first time I watched it, I was like, oh, why, why am I cheering for this guy? Like, why, well, not, I'm not cheering for this guy. Like, why am I meant to be cheering for this guy? He was just an a-hole, yeah. I never watched The Sopranos. I literally never watched The Sopranos. Never watched it. The last two decades. Yeah, I know, Jim. I, like, I know it's ancient, The Wire. But um, I've just never, never watched it. Never watched The Sopranos. Wow, Sea Rose. Wow. <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I should do this. I should do this high-level analysis from the other side. And the answer is to just cast your opponent's players. <laughs> it's pretty good. Not something I'm, uh, I'm capable of, though, unfortunately. Sopranos. Sopranos! I don't know. No, I never, never watched that. Never watched The Wire. Haven't watched uh, Shogun yet. I was going to watch Shogun. I was going to watch Shogun. But I haven't watched that yet. Not a weeb, though. That's the, if I was a weeb, I would have watched it, obviously. But yeah, people said Shogun was really good. Well, yeah, but not really good. People said Shogun was good. And yeah, I've heard people say Better Call Saul was really good. But the, thi the thing about Better Call Saul was, I watched, like, the first episode, and I was like, oh, I don't like this. And didn't watch it anymore. <laughs> that was just me done instantly. Literally watched the first episode, like, nah. Hollyoaks, great show, honestly. Can't recommend Hollyoaks enough. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Star DK. I might have even watched the first two. I watched it and I was just like, nah. And then just stopped. But now that people have said it's good, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, maybe I can, oh my god. Maybe I can give it another go, knowing that it's going to get better. But Heartbeat. <laughs> I watched Heartbeat when I was a kid, I'll be honest. What? Boston Eagle? I never watched until Art did, and I really loved Boston Eagle. Yeah, I thought that was incredible. I actually thought that was incredible. So there you go. thought about which one should I blitz, the wrestler or the defenseless, and I thought, don't be stupid, obviously attack the defenseless dude, and then it worked. Clever Jimothy. Stole man's a minute, gotta try and make something happen with no players. <laughs> no players undead. Not good, well, Necro. The Expanse. I've heard of it. I haven't watched it. But yeah, watching Boston Legal recently, it was great. Really nice. As good as the film, wow. Huh? The thing about TV shows now is I don't really want to. Like, I don't really want to binge watch them. Do you know what? Joey wasn't as bad as people thought. I think it's because it was like you know following the best thing ever, wasn't it? It was following the best TV show of all time. 
So it wasn't as good as that. So people thought it was shit. Silo. Didn't watch the end of Silo. I watched the first few episodes. And then stopped. Rings of Power is supposedly absolutely terrible now, isn't it? Wehey, Nelson. Wehey. Like, not that the first series of Rings of Power was good, but the second supposedly absolutely terrible. So, foul appearance. I'm not running out of time bank here, flip me. I'm just gonna base everybody and hope he runs out of time and <laughs> at this rate. Oh, full pow. Another full pow. Instant AV break. Uh, he could run around. Problem is the follow up hit, isn't it? What about him? Can he get in there? GFI. I probably do just GFI, right? Yeah, I probably have to GFI there. foul him. And this is like a terrible foul, right? Terrible, terrible foul. But at the end of the day, I can get lucky from doing it. That's what I'm thinking. Like, you know, it, the blitz was bad and the and it was to set up a bad foul. I did a bad, bad blitz to set up a bad foul, right? I could have just assisted here and blitzed him. But um, I thought I'll do a bad blitz to set up a bad foul and just try to get really lucky. Because, you know, three players down. I watched the first two series of Mando and then didn't watch the third one. I watched the first episode of Mando and I was like, no, it's too boring. I was too bored after watching the first. I didn't like the main character and I was bored. So I thought, I don't really. It's not good enough for me. Acolyte was horrific. Mm. Yeah, I just had a feeling the third series was going to be terrible, so I didn't watch it. I also got put off a bit by Boba Fett. That was rubbish, I thought. Yeah, I thought Rogue One was alright. I'm not a big Star Wars fan or anything, right? So I'm not fussed about it. I'm not fussed about Star Wars in any way. Star 
some people are like, oh, the law, the law. And I don't really care about any of that. Time, clever girl. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some people are like that, aren't they? Oh, the law, the law. What they've done to my favourite, my favourite show, my favourite world. Ah ha! But I don't care about none of that. A block full block. Ooh. I think I'm gonna both down. You go there. You can go there. You can go here. Here. It's in the wrestler really sucks. That's not terrible, is it? That's not terrible. That's not a terrible turn. Mondo. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, people have been saying the new Star Wars one's bad, yeah. yeah. I'm not a big I'm not a big gamer though, I'm really not. I got some people play all the new game every time, don't they? I've got nine games that I play, which is enough for me. But it's Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's a it's a tabletop board game. This isn't a video game, is it? Really, really, it's not really. Okay, at least he's not trying to win, because I think I'd be in danger if he was trying to win. Like I think he actually could have pushed for the win here. So I'm glad that he's not trying, and I'm at least going to get a draw. Yeah, I might be. I might be playing tabletop, yep. I'm not saying that I am going to be playing it, but, uh, maybe. <laughs> Again, you all know Blood Bowl doesn't count, so... Well, hey. Oh, he ran out of time before I could stand that guy up. Amazing. Uh, amazing. I would like Fleshy on the ball, really. Could I have done some safe moves first? Yes, I could have. He's just going there, so I want to go kind of really strong over the other side to stop him. This guy up there as well. Oh. 
Like he could go there, right? Then it makes it harder to break down the side here. But it really leaves the switch on. I guess I've got to do it. I guess I've got to do it. <laughs> yeah, for free either. Right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's out of time now. Completely out of time. So that's good, isn't it? His time bank is gone. I ran out of time bank versus Sol and it was horrendous. Jim Elliot, Dimmy. Cock. But then they've got Yud they've got Yuddy anyway, right? They've got Yuddy. Yuddy carried them. <laughs> Yuddy actually carried them with goblins. <laughs> what a legend. What a legend. Okay, this is good. If this is a push, no. Instant pow. Instant and full pow. <laughs> Into removal. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's rolled a one! He's rolled a one! I don't know what you're thinking, mate. Yep, there we go. He rolled a one. PC and Big Kev. Yeah, I don't think either of them went this year. So yeah, PC and Big Kev. That's all right. Give me Big Kev any day. Four. Love a bit of Big Kev. I love that when I play Necro, I just get the shit beaten out of me. <laughs> this is fucking pro elves. <laughs> oh, God. No, oh, well, this is pathetic, but what can I do? like a reset turn, isn't it? Because I can't really chase him anyway, so... I mean, you can just go either way. Chaufs will be using PTK. Like slam, doesn't he? He likes a bit of slam. I think he just used whatever he thought was strongest for the comp. Woodies. Just all depends on the rules packs, doesn't it? I think. Like some people are just going to be using what they use, right? Like, unless it's bad. Like, for example, Devo with Necro and. Uh, Olivier Dulac with Skaven. They're going to use those if it's like, you know, if it's not a bad pack, they'll use them, right? Whereas I think Big Kev will just use whatever. Whatever he fancies. Or whatever's good in the pack, or whatever. Hmm. 
probably scared of losing tons of rank and if he used Necro, I'd imagine. But in general, like they they've got a favoured team, haven't they? Like I think Kfog's like less of a favoured team than some of the other good players. Good, he didn't stand him up. him in there, but it's not really good enough, is it? I need to 1D him. Yeah, I need to 1D him. It sucks, but I have to. <coughs> this guy has to 1D him. to dodge and GFI. Okay, good. That was just necessary to do anything. I, it's still just twos for him to just pass it to this guy, isn't it? But, uh... I think if this guy is like back here, it's too easy just to go forward and through this guy and then like screen off here like it's really really easy f to go just go forward if this if this side stepper isn't right here so there you go. yeah yeah me too see bros like but you know if you look at um where's the team hello sick uh, well i've got necromantic which are, you know soft soft team whereas he's got Trials, which are of course a very bashy team, so that's uh, that's why this has occurred. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, to be fair, though, right? Necro aren't that aren't that tough, are they? They've, they've got a lot of armor eight. I mean, it's it is the two it is the two AV ten plus guys who've been removed here as well. But they've got a lot of AV AV nine plus, which is easy to remove. Like every time your wolves get hit, you're absolutely shitting yourself, aren't you? And uh, Obviously the ghouls fragile if they get hit. Else can Oh, here we go, last reroll gone. Oh yes. 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 I love it. Push him. I got a two and a two. You fucking twat. <laughs> oh, that's even where the assist wants to be for this guy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He was gonna come in there, and then he could have blitzed up up and screened. I could always blitz with him, and then uh, pick it up on the wraith. <laughs> he could push him to there. No, it doesn't work, does it? Yeah, and then he could blitz. And then if I power it clears anyway, which is just the same, then what, what good has it done that I blocked him? I was gonna blitz him and hope that I get the power. Eh? Do. 
All the both downs this turn, amazing. Glorious. And it's his last you turn as well. Wingman, you can be mine. One, two, three, four. Knorr! Hello, thank you very much. Welcome, Knorr Raiders, into a standard game of necro necromantic getting beaten up by uh, Proyles. It's been rather fun. I d I'm not even joking, it has been rather fun. Um, if he dodges, one, two, three, four... I can just screen up, right? I can just go up. One, two, three, four. This this zombie can get to there. So I could sideline cage. But then he can just dodge in and get me. Just don't love him being able to do that. One, two, three, four. This guy's gonna be there. I don't want the ball in the crowd. Man, this is tough. Zombie there, and he could make GFIs potentially as well. Like, I could just... I could just... One, two, three, four. Like, I could just eye cage, right? And then he can only 1D me. I could just... I could just eye cage. Now you've got a time bank as well, Stradik here, so I've got six minutes. He's used all of his. Good enough. Ah, oh, chat hit it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, they made everything like as small as possible, right? To make it less, make try make the UI less ob obtrusive, which is fair enough. How many Blood Bowl teams? I don't know exactly, honestly, Steve, but I've got about 30 tabletop teams. <laughs> um, not many painted, I would say. About four or five painted. Maybe six. I've got an Ogre team painted. Skaven. Nurgle. Undead. There are four that I know are painted. And then the rest, I'm not sure. Okay, it was his turn first. That's it. I can't score. Unless I chain him, I can chain him. I could chain him for the score. That's something to do, isn't it? He could just block him. Is this the... Oh, it's a blitzer. Flip me. I, cu I couldn't chain him anyway. <laughs> uh, he sidestepped, so that's out, isn't it? 
Okay. Nice chain, mate. Instant both downs. <laughs> Third pot of green. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, my, my Nurgle are green and gold, actually. Uh, Dimmy, Dimmy themed Nurgle. Right, well, there you go. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? It was alright. I can't complain about that game at all. Um, heavily outbashed. But managed to get the 1-0 uh, win. Very nice. And uh, there you go. GG Dub Skulls. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.